Oh, I, I think the phone's ringing. Yes, this is the Early Morning Protein Powder Review Crew. How can I help you? Oh, no. You bought that one? Yeah, we just did a review on that one. It was a zero out of 10. Yeah, it was really nasty. It was really bad. I mean, like, pour it out, do not pass go, do not collect $200 bad. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Maybe if you had watched this review, you wouldn't have become victim to that protein powder. Good morning, everybody. It's Allie. I'm on a fantabulous weight loss quest. And hopefully you'll subscribe and come along for the ride because I put out new videos every day. And that is not a real phone. It's just for decoration. It makes me happy. Thinks makes me think of my childhood. Okay, so... These are protein powders that I tested in the last two weeks that were horrible, terrible, no good, very bad. Please don't buy them. Um, I have never experienced so many bad proteins all like consecutively in a, in a just a few days apart time period. Like it's just bad. But I will say that of these samples that my friend was kind enough to send me, that many of them are very good. But I am going to save that for a different video. This is gonna be the ones that I've tried here recently that are terrible, horrible, no good, very bad. Please do not buy them. Oh my God. First up, we've got Truvani, which is a plant-based organic chocolate protein. And I, I was hopeful for this one because the macros were okay, right? 130 calories, 20 grams of protein, and not a lot of sugar. And it's organic, right? So you immediately think, oh, this is going to be good. No, no, this, this was not good. This was horrible, in fact. And I wrote, pour out tastes like wood. This was like somebody poured cocoa powder and wood shavings into a packet and then and then sold it to me as a protein powder. Not I, and I didn't pay for this, mind you. It was sent to me by a friend, but I'm just saying like holy guacamole was this bad. First of all, I didn't see it coming. Second of all, I actually spit it out. Guys, on previous protein powders that I'm like, meh, this is not very good. Meh, this is like kind of blah, right? I still drink it. Like I'm not going to waste the protein powder and I'm not going to waste the milk. But this one, whoa, super bad. Now, um, for those of you who might be new here, uh, my Manjaro, right, my GLP-1, makes things taste weird. And I'm picky about how things taste anyway. I am a ranch connoisseur, right, ranch dressing, like it has to be a certain kind or I have to make it from scratch. You know, water. If water has a funny taste to it, I won't drink it. Like, I'm one of those people. So to ensure that I'm giving all of these a fair review, I also had my wife test them who is not on a GLP-1, who does not have weird taste buds and is not super picky about anything. E yeah, and she agreed with me on all of these ratings. Next up in our category of no good, very bad, pour it out, oh my God, do you have taste testers working for your company, protein powder. So this one was super disappointing because I have tried some others by this brand and I've been happy with them. But this one is the mint chocolate flavor. And as you can see, I gave it a zero out of 10, poured it out. And my note said, that you can't read says like menthol cig. So this was like drinking a menthol cigarette. It was chalky. It did not mix well. It, it didn't taste right. And... The mint was not minty. It was like like an old pack of cigarettes. If you've ever smelled an old pack of cigarettes, that's the way this tastes. 
I can't explain it. Super disappointed because like I said, I, I've tried other flavors from this brand, but apparently these companies are just really falling short on taste testing because I would have never let this one out onto the market. Here's another one that got a zero out of 10. This is Flav City, which clearly is not Flav City. It is Shitty City that needs to be shut down. Shut down Shitty City immediately. So again, this is another chocolate. This one, fantastic, right? It's got 25 grams of protein, 10 grams of collagen, and I was thinking, yes, this is going to be good. The calories were a little bit high for what you're getting, but, you know, at the same time, I was willing to give it a shot until I put it in my mouth, and then I proceeded to spit it out, as you can see. Just pour it, spit it out. Zero out of ten. Um, I think if you're going to name your company something alluding to flavor, that you really have to be on point with your flavors. You, you really do. Because otherwise, people are just going to change your name to something like Shitty City, which is what this is. Okay, and last but not least, this is the NutriCost um, Strawberry Milkshake Flavor. Um, this one, not as bad as the others. The others were a straight up, pour it out, nasty, spit it out in the sink type of reaction. This one was like, eh. I'm not going to waste the calories. I am going to pour it out, but it gets like a 5 out of 10 because it did not mix well. And it, um, I mean, it had strawberry flavor, but it also had a weird aftertaste. And I'm not 100% sure why that is. The calories were good, right? I, I don't know. I don't know. Low in sugar, gluten-free, blobbity blobbity, right? Checks all the boxes, but this one just really fell short. Especially um, when it comes to some other strawberry flavors, which I will be uh, talking about in the future, because those were a home run. This one, eh, send it back to the drawing board, NutriCost. I hope you enjoyed this extremely negative review of protein powders that tasted like garbage! Companies, what are you guys doing? Do you need somebody who has a sensitive palate, who is clearly way overqualified to be taste testing your products? If so, please send them to me. Send me your products. I will review them and tell you what you're doing wrong. Because clearly, these companies are either not taste testing or they have people who are taste testing who are not of the variety of the sensitive palate like myself. And they're doing their company a disservice because, whoa, these are the worst protein powders I have experienced yet. And I am now almost exactly a year into my weight loss journey and having protein every day. That says a lot. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. If you're looking for some good protein powder options, definitely go check out my other videos. I've reviewed protein powders, clear protein, protein snacks, protein desserts, protein chips, everything protein under the sun. And there's still more to come. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Hit that little bell thing, right? So it like pops up on your screen. It's like, hey, Allie made a video because I make a new video every day just for you. So you don't want to miss out on that. If you're looking for a positive only support group, I've got you covered. Link is in the description box below. And as always, be kind. Rewind.